Now, there's all the stuff I was just wearing. I can even strip down to my skivvies. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do that around all these folks, but for purposes of this demonstration, I'll go ahead and do it. Alright, today we're going to go over Armor 3's new inventory system. Uh, as you can see, I am chock full of gear right now. I've got a backpack and a launcher and an M4 with custom gear on it. The M4 comes from a mod. So, first of all, let's take a look at the different inventory slots we have. We have your load carrying slots, which are your uniform, your vest, and your backpack. You've got your head slots, which is your helmet, your eyewear, your night vision, and your optic. That's actually not a head slot, but then you've got your your weapon and your weapon magazine, your weapon optic, your rail attachment, which is a flashlight right now, and your barrel attachment, which I don't have one. You got your launcher slot, and you'll take note that the launcher slot and backpack slot are separate in Armor 3. They were the same slot in Armor 2. If you were carrying a launcher, you couldn't carry a backpack. So you got your launcher, and there are actually slots for barrel attachments and optics on the launcher. I don't know if those will ever be utilized. And then you've got your actual rocket, or in this case, missile. And you've got your pistol, same slots, your barrel your rail, your optic, and your magazine. And then you've got all your tertiary gear. Map, GPS, I don't have a GPS, but that's your GPS slot. Radio, compass, and watch. First thing we're going to look at is these three carrying capacity slots. Uniform has the smallest amount of capacity. I've got just one item in my pocket, and you can see it's got about 15% of the capacity taken up. Your vest has a medium amount of capacity. Uh, you see I've got a, a full combat loadout. I've got eight primary mags, two secondary mags, three frags, two smokes, all on my vest. And then you've got your backpack, which obviously has the most amount of space. I've got a first aid kit, a satchel, which actually takes a lot of space, uh, an extra frag, and an extra missile for the in law So, let's dump all this gear and go over each slot one by one. keeping the shades. And we will go ahead and keep our tertiary slots. And now, there's all the stuff I was just wearing. I can even strip down to my skivvies. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do that around all these folks, but for purposes of this demonstration, I'll go ahead and do it. Alright. Still got my shades, though. Now, I've got three different uniform choices here. There are a lot more than these three. But, uh, I was wearing a long sleeve uniform. Since it's hot out, we'll go ahead and put the short sleeve uniform back on. And then, I'll grab my favorite vest, which is the carrier GL rig. I like the way it looks. And I'll grab a backpack. So now I've got all three of these slots, they're empty, and I'm ready to take on a crap ton of gear. So we'll grab our standard loadout, and the inventory defaults to your uniform, which is kind of annoying. I wish it would default to your vest, but maybe that'll be fixed in the future. So I'll grab primary weapon, secondary weapon, and as of right now, it doesn't grab mags when you grab your weapons. And I'll grab another rocket launcher. Now I have to get mags for those. So, the first mag you grab will not go into your inventory. It'll go directly into the weapon itself. And I'll point out something that's a little frustrating here. When you grab your first mag, it'll load the weapon. And while the weapon is loading, it won't let you grab more mags. So I'll keep clicking to try to get more mags, and you'll see that I can only do the one at a time, or the one 
while it's reloading, and then I can grab the rest. Now it's done, and I can grab the rest. And same thing with the pistol. It's going to load the pistol. And now I can grab the rest. And we'll go ahead and grab a couple of smokes. A couple of gra grenades. And then we'll move over to our backpack. And put a satchel charge in there. And we'll go ahead and grab a couple extra smokes and a couple extra mags in the backpack. And let's see. We forgot our missile for our in-law. So let's grab that. And once again, it'll reload it immediately. And we should have enough room in our backpack for an extra missile. You know, it's going to weigh us down a lot. And now let's get our optics for a weapon. See, I grabbed a bare bones M4. And I'm going to want optics on there. So we'll go with an RCO. And you just drag it over into your optic slot. And a flashlight. Since it's daytime, I have no use for the IR pointer. Flashlight might help me inside of a dark building. And we will grab an extra optic, and we'll actually put it in the pocket of our uniform. Grab the hollow sight. Oh, let's not forget a first aid kit in our backpack. And just so the sergeant major doesn't yell at us, let's grab a helmet. And our NVG's back. Now you will notice something cool about the NVGs this time around. You see my NVGs here, but when I take my helmet off, if you played Arma 2, if you were wearing NVGs with no helmet, they would just hover in front of your head. This time around, you actually have rigging to hold your NVGs to your head. So that's pretty cool, whether or not you're wearing a helmet or a hat or not, your NVGs are going to look proper. So let's grab my helmet back. And another thing to note is when you take your shades off now, if you played Arma 2, it doesn't change your face. So let's put our shades back on. And now let's go over uh, dropping your gear on the ground and getting it back up. So, I will drop my vest and my backpack down. And you can open them from here, but you can't actually pick them back up from here. So, open bag. This, this was my backpack. This is all the stuff that was in my backpack. But if I go to gear, you can now see my vest and my bag, backpack on the ground. Uh, but you can further go in and check out what was inside of those items, which is really cool. Uh, and then, of course, if you pick them back up, pick my vest back up, and now I've got all the stuff that was in my vest back. So all the vests and backpacks that are dropped will have their proper inventories in them when you drop them and pick them back up. And the last thing we're going to go over is looting dead bodies. Alright, last thing we're going to go over is looting dead bodies. I guess we have to make them dead first, huh? that last one? I saw four. Three are down. Alright. Now, go into the gear, and it's a lot like looting your, your vest or your backpack off the ground. You can see his uniform and his vest, and on top of that, in order to see what's in them, you have to double-click and go into them. Additionally, you can take them. Uh, see, my vest, I've got the, the NATO gear, and then if I take his vest, 
not only does it take his vest, but it also takes his gear. And then I can take his helmet also. And I could take his uniform, but that's bugged right now. So, hopefully you've gained a good understanding of how the new inventory system works. To overview, you've got your uniform, your vest, and your backpack slot. That's where your gear goes. So you tab between the three to access all of your different gear. And you've got all your head slots and your weapon and your weapon customizations. Ah, let's go over that. You can uh, scavenge enemy weapons for parts. So say I want his... Where does rifle go? It's over here. Say I want his optic and his laser pointer. So I'll take his weapon. I'll snatch those off. Uh, I'm out of uniform, uh, space in my uniform. So I'll snatch those off, and then I'll grab my weapon back. Now you see I have his optic and his laser pointer, which I actually already have the same optic and a laser pointer. But it's just something else cool that you can do. And as I said, I hope you've gained a better understanding of the inventory system with the gear slots, or the uh, the carrying slots, head slots, primary weapon, launcher, pistol, and all of your tertiary equipment. And as usual, thanks for watching. Alright, let's take a look at putting gear onto your gun itself. So, you've got your gun, and in my vest I've got my, I've got two optics and a flashlight. Very simple. You just drag optic to the optic slot, and you see it pop up on there. You drag the flashlight to the rail slot, and you couldn't really see it pop up there, but it is there. And switching optics out is as easy as clicking and dragging. So I've got the RCO on, now I've got the EOTech. Fire in the hole, fire in the hole. Alright, let's fall back. 